Hello, and happy Valentine's Day. I am Lorthorn, and welcome to my Minecraft guide to Valentine's Day. Be you spending time with your loved ones, you're all alone, with your significant other, or with your Minecraft girlfriend that totally is not a 43-year-old man from Alaska. This video is for you to enjoy, in sickness or in health, in good times or in bad times, or however you feel. So let's talk about a few mods that can make your Minecraft feel a little bit more Valentine's Day for at least one day of this year. To start off with, let's get some things out of the way. This video is, of course, focusing on things to do with significant others and loved ones. And so to start with that, why not take them to a lovely scenic place with some good views? For that, we have this wonderful floating village that I think comes from Sky Villagers or Sky Village, some such mod. It's a very lovely thing. I was quite lucky to spawn right near one. And it's just a good old time to hang out in this place. But once you've done some traveling, the real thing you can do is to give them your heart. Now to do this, one simply needs some iron, a stick, and a lever, and then you can make a chest opener. And then you can give them not only your heart, but your lungs, kidney, and liver to your own content. Now, it's not exactly recommended to give these things up, as the results can be rather deadly to oneself as a certain fox recently found out. So I'd recommend, perhaps, instead of giving them your own heart, giving them someone else's. Although you're not always guaranteed to get the heart out of them, still, a spleen or a lung can be quite a pleasant thing to acquire. And this is all done through the mod Chest Cavities. And not that kind of chest, you pervert, but chest as in the physical thing and the cavity is opening up behind the ribs. But if you want a rather less violent but still classical way to appreciate your loved one, then perhaps consider doing something far more charming than physically removing your bodily organs and giving them flowers. And not just any type of flowers, but magical flowers with Botania. It's neat says Direwolf20. An excellent review. And of course, it's by the lovely Vazakai. Guides can be found wherever you need, official or unofficial. I'd recommend Lorthorn's unofficial guide to Britannia. Britannia How To. A little bit out of date, but still pretty good. Now, you can get your companion or family members dressed up for the Valentine season with some lovely pink armor that makes them a very pretty person with some very uh, pink, flappy, wingy armor. But you can also get them the best of flowers. You can get them a dandemil to blow them away with its wind it produces. If you want to heat things up, you can use an exoflame. And well, it does all the cooking for you. If you need to mend some heartache, then use the fallen cadax to heal that broken heart that was awfully removed by your bad decisions. Or, if you want to get some damp clay, then you can take some dried out sand and put it near this flower and turn it into nice damp clay. And I'm not going to make the obvious joke. And if the evening isn't long enough for you, then you can bring time to a stop with some lovely mendulum, which apparently slows down time for hostile entities around you. So you can spend just that little bit longer making out with the person you love. And there are plenty of more flowers to see from Botania to not only give you love, but to produce magic and powers, gifts of rings of might and far reaching, so you can reach out to them. You can give them a third eye as a necklace. Oh, wouldn't that be a lovely present? Perhaps a tiny pebble, magic dice that control the fate of the universe, the severed head of a Gaia guardian, or perhaps if you're feeling extra generous, a bomb that runs on mana and destroys everything around it in quite a disturbing and a far more dangerous fashion than it used to. Oh my. Well, I'll leave that be. Now if flowers aren't your style and neither is giving them your own organs, or perhaps you just want something a little bit extra that does involve those things, 
Now you can do something that I very much relate to as being a northerner in Canada, and that's go hunting with them and get them heads and trophies from all sorts of animals from the wonderful Better Animals Plus mod by It's Meow and Cybercat, I think. And you have all sorts of fuzzy friends, heads you can collect while going hunting from moose to wolves, bears, elk and deer, even boars. It's not really limited to that, and it's just a good old time hunting these fellows down and skinning them for what they got. You can also appreciate the little things in life, like songbirds of various different species, and butterflies, which can be very pretty and quite appropriate for Valentine's Day. And even a few dragonflies to zip about and commit, uh, well, war crimes on other lesser bugs. Or you can go big by giving them a badger. Maybe two badgers. Or perhaps some crabs. Honestly, the best gift is giving someone crabs, and not those kinds of crabs, but these kinds of crabs. Or there's, of course, the hunting you can do with reindeer, bears, and giant horrible bobbit worms which are a nightmare species that, yes, they do exist. And they are about that big. They live in the water, they poke their heads out, and they bite you unpleasantly. But enough of the animals. Or if you are someone who does not wish to spend their Valentine's Day hunting or experiencing butterflies, then you can do something else for them. Like take them on a pleasant walk through a flower patch. Or perhaps you're not even interested in lovey-dovey with someone else even if there is a beautiful sunset, and so instead you can be the Cupid yourself and fire arrows of love or destruction with the Extra Arrows mod, which adds an excellent TNT arrow for blowing things up, a slime arrow for bouncy, weird arrows, uh, no jokes to be made there, a torch arrow to light evenings up for people so they can just have that romantic night out they need Maybe they're sitting there without their candles, and then you just stroll them by and you go, BAM! Have a candle! Or the lightning arrow to, uh, lighten the mood? Call down lightning on people? You know, Love and Thunder, upcoming Thor movie, or it's out, I don't know. That could be the reason you want. Or maybe you just want to shoot arrows at people. I don't know. It's your Valentine's Day. I mean, some people like to get freaky in prison cells. Which I bet you didn't even know existed on this map, but here, look it is. There's a secret little jail cell, iron bars and everything that you can find. I didn't make that, it's just here. No entrances, so it's a place that people go to be forgotten in. It's got books though, maybe some romance novels, who knows. But finally, to add to the cupidism of shooting arrows at loved ones or at people you want to fall in love, we finally have Icarus mod, which gives you wings. All sorts of different wings. All they require is a lovely elytra and a ton of resources. But then you can get very, very pretty wings. From the El Clasico normal wings that we have in the pink variety, although others are available, to the less well-known, probably some anime wings. The options spread a large variety. Mechanical, actually very icarus wings. Dragon wings. Freaky, whoa, wings, what are these? Mismatched Discord wings. Oh, I'm such a special snowflake. Look at me. This is my OC. Do not steal. And finally, own was her. Um, yes, Toho reference, dodging bullets and all that stuff. These wings, of course, do far more than just looking fanciful and fashionable. They actually do allow you to fly. And you can take your loved ones wherever you want when you have wings. Up to this lovely place, past the devastations of a crater, or perhaps to a lovely, lovely love cabin out in the woods. You just have to take one step and fly to your heart's content. Wherever you wish to go, your wings can take you. Gliding up and down, past the pillager posts, through the air, soaring freely, doing loop-de-loops, and going to, like I said, that wonderful love cabin hidden off in the woods where you can be with your most fervent of loved ones it's a rather lovely place 
just for you and your significant other, or you can go in and enjoy each other's company. And you can show your loved one, perhaps, your man meat. Or maybe... <laughs> yeah. Or perhaps if you're not very well endowed or fortunate in this world, <laughs> you're me. <laughs> oh, I just saw these items and had to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Only do show people these things if they have your if you have their consent. Don't just whip it out. No one wants an impromptu barbecue. <laughs> and that's how you can have Valentine's in Minecraft with. <laughs> All your loved ones that are definitely playing the game with you on that Okay, um... Terrible joke. I- I'm so... It just called that! And that was actually cannibalism, but it's just called that. Oh god, uh, this... uh, no, um... Right. As we were saying, uh... Some things are best left to uh, a more propriety's sake, I think, and should be dealt with in an appropriate manner, with uh, lots of love and care. So yes, um, let's do it a proper send-off there. Uh, yeah, so anyways, have a wonderful Valentine's Day, or just a normal day, as there's always a day to spread love and kindness to your families and friends, and just give them a little bit of, hey, I appreciate you, and maybe you can give them a barbecue, but only with their consent. And if not, then just give them some flowers and say, well, maybe next time. No one wants an unconsensual barbecue, trust me. And definitely don't send them unsolicited barbecues. That's just wrong. So anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, until next time, goodbye.